Hi everyone! I'm so excited to do an unboxing. Sorry if the light is glaring on the box, but um, I had to adjust the lighting and everything. But I'm so excited to share an unboxing and it's not tech, but it's actually a, a coffee maker and it's the Nespresso uh, Virtuo Plus and Aerochino 3. And it's um, DeLonghi. And I'm really excited to try this because I really love Nespresso coffee. Um, I had a cup at the Grand Del Mar Hotel in San Diego. It's like a five-star hotel here. And the first time I had it, I was in love. Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. And then um, another time when I had it was at Parfait Paris. And it's a macaron and French cafe in downtown San Diego. And they have a Nespresso machine down there. And it's so good. Oh my gosh, it's so wonderful. They have the, the real Nespresso um, barista machine there if you would like to try it. And they also have a delicious assortment of macarons. And then um, there's another one that I tried at Bed Bath, Bed Bath and Beyond, and I had two versions. Um, I had this one, and then I had I think it was a Pixie. I'm not sure if it was uh, the Delonghi Virtual Plus version, but um, I was really, really impressed with the taste of it. And um, a lot of my friends have uh, told me to get one, and finally you know, gave in and I got one and this is price ranged at $269. So if you're in, um, in the market for a coffee machine espresso, uh, this is how much you're going to pay for it. I um, really like this one because it has the milk frother in it. And so now I don't have to buy a milk frother. So I was looking for a couple of them and I think some of them don't have a milk frother. So you're going to have to look and make sure that that's what you want included in there. And, um, on the box, that's the front. On the side here, it says um, it has a really large a water container right here in the back, and it and it pivots. Um, you can make all kinds of of, of sizes here. You, I guess you can make small ones and large ones. And there are three cup sizes. There's a one point three five fluid ounces. Um, 7.7 fluid ounces and 14 fluid ounces. So that's pretty big. I mean, if you're a big coffee drinker, that's a good one. Um, it has a deluxe version, which is has chrome accents to it, and I really like that. And it has a larger water tank. Um, there are two capsule sizes, I guess, small and large. Um, the centrifusion has centrifusion technology and that and has blend specific brewing so i mean that's awesome so that's that side and then it has the look of it that's what it looks like and um also right here it comes with nespresso capsules and it comes with 12 capsules um there's all kinds of flavors in for us to try and you can also order um online at Nespresso.com. So I'm really excited to try that. Let's go ahead and open it up. And the box is really, really nice. Let's open it from the top here. I'm excited. Ooh. Wow. It's very impressive opening here. I don't know if you can see. Let's back you up here. I know my camera is a little using my phone. Okay, so as as far as you get, you get the booklet here, and um, how to use it, your manual, and um, the types of capsules and flavors that you get. All right, and then there's a bunch of styrofoam on the top here to protect it. That down here. On the very top is, I guess this is, I've seen it, and it's very magnetic, this base here, the coffee base, and I guess you can just click it in, and that comes
comes on the top there. And then the cord. And then another big piece of styrofoam. And then on the side, I'm going to take this out. comes with an espresso virtual pack. 12 pack. Looks like a box of chocolates. Mmm. <laughs> And then um, you get also the frother. Yum. Let's look at that. We'll open this box up here. And that's what it looks like. And it's really fast, I think. I've seen a couple of um, how to use it on YouTube. So when you look into the box here, it comes with the top on the side. Right there, and let's have you look at the um, top here. And it looks like it's clear. There you go. Okay, let's put that aside. And then the actual frost, frost machine here. And let's open that up. And there's a little separation there, cardboard. And here's the heating mechanism here. And that's what the heating base looks like on the bottom. And then here's, it's like a three prong. And you put that on the bottom, plug it in. And then the actual booster. It comes with pla uh, plastic and cardboard in the middle. There's nothing else. Put that aside here. Trying to be clean. And so here is the uh, piece here. Nothing inside. That's what it looks like inside. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if my light will help me look inside there. All right. And then, so that top goes on top like this. All right. And I guess there's the button there to start the frothing mechanism. And so you plug it in, and then you pop it on the base there, like so, voila, that's the frother. And that's expensive. These things are very expensive by itself, okay? And in the box, there is a booklet here to read if you're interested. And it's the Erotino number three, and it's very descriptive, my goodness. Okay, let's put, a, put this box away. I always like to save the boxes for a couple of months. You never know if it'll break, you know, and you have to return it to Target or whatever, wherever you got it. Um, I like to take this off from this. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, let's put this here. And inside the box, that's about it. That's all you get. From the bottom and um, again I like to save my boxes just in case you never know if something will malfunction and you have to return it. I always say like never leave styrofoam inside of your house because you know you never know if you have pets that will chew on it so I'm gonna store it inside of the um, the garage, okay, and then here is the actual machine, oh my gosh. Okay, I had to lower the camera down so you could see the whole machine. Okay, so I'm going to take off the plastic part, and it looks like it's, it's wrapped around the entire piece here. So I'm going to lift this up gently, try not to break anything. And, let's see, Ooh. it's kind of uh, very, very sturdy. Okay, so this is what it looks like here. Um, let me raise the, the camera. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, it's very nice. I mean, very, it's it's. It's all black and it's got chrome features to it. Okay, so again, this little, uh, this base here for the coffee, it fits right in the front there and it should, like, it's magnetized, I guess that's what they're saying. So 
So it fits right here on the bottom. I take that back. <laughs> it's not a magnet. Some of them, they're saying that they are a magnet, but it's actually just a, it's just like a container that has different levels. So you can put it higher for a smaller cup or bigger for a, you know, bigger cup and then just all the way down. So I'm definitely going to be using like this, probably this range here. And that's what it looks like. Okay. Um, I've never used it before, so I'm really excited to try it all out. Um, let me plug, let me plug it in. Okay, so this water container goes into this little slot right here, and and in in the pictures you can see that it can curve in and in and around the machine itself because I guess you can customize it to how your shelf is or your counter space is. So mine's will probably be on the side here because I have it. I have a, a shelf sort of situation for my um, coffee area. So um, let's go ahead and wash some of these things so I can make my first cup of coffee. I'm so excited. So the canister came wrapped with this because I, you know, I guess because it's, it's, it's plastic, they want to make sure that it's safe and, you know, um, not cracked. So I'm going to inspect it for any cracks, but look at that. This is the first removal of the plastic. Some people really like that. I don't know. Removing the plastic part of a new product. Oh my gosh. Check it out. <laughs> so yay. There are no cracks whatsoever. And oh my gosh. So exciting. And that's what it looks like on the very bottom there. Exciting. Very shiny. I'm going to just rinse it out. I still have my Breville curry machine and I'm still going to use it. So yeah, I have a collection of all kinds of coffee machines here. So let's put this. I just washed it because you never know what kinds of partic metal metallic pa particles there are on on a machine, you know, so um, I rinsed it out and all that. Okay, so I just washed the top part here and put that on the top of the water container. And then I also rinsed off my frothing machine. And let's go ahead and put that over here so that you can see it. There you go. And let's put, I also washed this out and let's go ahead and put that on top of there also so you can see both working at the same time I'm also going to take off this sticker I don't know but it's it's in French and um I'm going to take it off so it won't stick to it it says this is serial number <laughs> serial number who cares about the serial number let's take that off okay and then we place it here. Okay, let's read the directions. Okay, I've got some water here and I'm going to pour in one bottled water into the water container here. Okay, looking good. <laughs> All right, then everything is ready. I'm going to turn it on and the on button is at the very top here and I don't know if you can see it but um, the light is turning is blinking okay so that's a good sign right okay so the green button would be blinking if it's starting to heat up so when it stops blinking it and it's a steady green light that means it's ready to go okay that's perfect so that's that's a sign. <laughs> okay, open the machine head by pressing the up. Oh, ooh. Okay, don't force it. <laughs> it opens up. So that kind of scared me. It looks like that inside. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. That's where the pot 
goes. All right, let's try this, baby. I'm so excited. Okay, I don't have a clear coffee cup like some people do, so I'm just going to use this cute little cup that I have in my collection. So it looks like it's really big, so I'm going to have to lower my little, my little, little there. Okay, and it looks like, oh, you know what? The problem is, is that it curves in, so I think I'm gonna have to get another cup because it looks like it's going to spill out. So you can't use a cup, good, good catch, can't use a cup that kind of curves in like that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so instead of this, I'm going to use this coffee cup because I think it's going to be good. It'll, it'll, it'll fall like on the edge. I think that is going to be okay so I could probably raise it to that level and it will catch so this thing is kind of I think if you have a coffee cup that is um that is tall it just kind of I think this thing should have been a little bit more the balcony should have been a little bit larger so that it would hold it the coffee cups that I have are pretty big so that's kind of like a hmm Okay, I forgot to mention we need to clean this out first before we even use it because it hasn't been used and I'm pretty sure there's some kind of, you know, manufacturing, uh, manufacturing uh, things in there. So debris and things, you, know, you never know what's in the tube. So let's, let's just start to clean it. So you're supposed to put a, a huge cup in there and then press this three uh, three times in, in two seconds one two three and so it will actually take about five minutes for it to to clean out completely so the first the first time is going to be five minutes and also it's going to be um it's going to use up the first you know first bottle of water it'll take about five minutes again i said and meanwhile we'll just take a little break and we'll come back and then we'll make our first cup of Nespresso. It's so exciting. So that process, it looks like this. It's blinking, 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 and then in five minutes, it should be done. Meanwhile, while that is working, let's check out what's inside of the Nespresso box. Let's unbox that and check it out. I'm so excited for this. It's like opening up a box of gourmet chocolate and um you can order again online or i think amazon has it you can also go to bloomingdale's i heard that they sell the pods and they also recycle the pods i really like how they they have a recycling program for the pods because i don't think curry has that or do they if you have any ideas if curry has any recycling programs that would be awesome because I've been using the pods for like plants. The coffees are really good. Um, oh my gosh, this is so hard to get. Let me get my scissors. Okay, it's still blinking orange. Um, so let's open this box up and see what we've got inside the sampling box. When you're paying $200, 200 almost 300 for this machine, so you should get something. And this is amazing because I love how it looks like candy. Oh my gosh, look at those colors. It's so pretty. <gasps> so excited. This is so amazing. Look at that. It does look like it does look like candy. It's so cool. Okay, while that is cleaning or whatever, it's setting up. I'm going to go over what you get in the uh, box here. Uh, you get uh, Intense, Intenso, and I don't know, I guess this is like a dark coffee. So it's intense. So it's like a level nine. If you really want to be awake, I guess Intenso. <laughs> um, Storm is a level eight. <laughs> really want to be awake level eight <laughs> um a doc a docchio is level seven 
and I like this. It's such a cute color. I love teal <laughs> or blue. Um, this one is Melizio, Melozo, Melozio. I don't know. Um, this is a six. This is probably me right now. <laughs> and this one is El Vazio. This is a level four. Um, this is Giardio. <laughs> I have no idea. Level four as well. And um I guess uh this I can't I can't read all of it. I mean it's gonna take me forever. This one is Sol Sol Leo. It's a level two. Hmm, maybe this one's the one I'm gonna use now. Um Hazelnut Hazelino. And this is a level six. So this is like a hazelnut. Hazelnut, um, Caramelizio, and this is a level six. No, wait, this was a Caramelizio. Oh, I don't know. There's, there's, I don't see it here. I don't think it's included. Hmm. Um, this one is, I don't have the white one. There is no white one in here, I don't think. Uh, the decaffeinato. I don't think I'm ever gonna, I don't know. Maybe if I need sleep, I'll have this. And look how, how small it is. <laughs> uh, these, these in the front are half the size of these. So if you really want more coffee, I guess, you're gonna have to pour this one in the larger container. Um, so these are the espressos down here, and I really like the espressos. So again, these are espressos, and it's, it's a smaller cup. Uh, but this, but oh, just because it's small, I take that back. I should have read it. <laughs> just because they're small, it doesn't mean it doesn't have a lot of coffee, caffeine in it. So this is the Diavolito. I can't, I'm sorry if I'm butchering the names, but um, this is a level 11. Oh my gosh. This is going to be keeping me awake. I'm going to need my uh, frother for that. Whoa. Uh, Altissio. And this is a level 9. Oh my gosh. Um, Voltessio is a level 4. This is probably my more my style right here. And maybe this one if I really just want the taste, but I also want to go to sleep. So these are so cute. Oh my gosh. The espresso. You real your packaging and your 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 packaging and your pods are so adorable. Oh my gosh. Love it. I love it. I I wonder if there's like a little uh display for these because they kind of look like you know like again candy. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see if the machine is ready. That's been more than five minutes. And so um, I'm going to put this down here and turn on my light. Sorry. Okay, I'm just put in my coffee cup again. And I am, I have chosen my pick and it's going to be this. Uh, I can't read it. Oh my gosh, Vol, Vol, Volterisio. <laughs> this, this one, the espresso one. Okay, so I'm gonna open it. So you, all you have to do is just touch it and it'll open. Put in your pod like so. And then I'm going to uh, read the directions and make sure I have it right. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Press it down. Okay, and then what do I do? Do I just press it? All right, there it goes. I don't know if you can see it going. Sorry, this is like 30 minutes. Oh my gosh. That smells so good right now. There goes the water going. And let's see it work. I'm so excited. It smells so wonderful. Oh my gosh. And it has that sound like all of them, all of them do. Yum. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. The smell is absolutely out of this world. Oh my gosh, so good. Let's 
see if I can tilt you and you can see what it looks like. It's like a frothy top. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so that is all you get. Seriously, that's all you get. Okay, coming from that little teeny tiny cup, that's the espresso pod. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So now I'm going to try the frother. Okay, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. I'm going to take this off of the little platform here because I don't want it to drop while I'm making my, my milk. And so we're going to bring in the milk machine here. I really don't know how to use this. So let's get the instruction booklet on that. So here's the Arochino 3. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look at all the things that you make with it. Oh. Oh my god, it smells so good in here. Okay, so I'm just going to fill it. There are so many, um, there's so many uh, directions in there. I mean, it's, I'm just going to fill it to that little tiny ball. I don't know if you can see it, but I saw it on YouTube and see that little black ball. So I'm going to fill it up to there and then I'm going to put it on the little base and begin to froth. So... It smells so good in here. It smells like a barista. I'm not kidding. So we're going to, I don't know if you can see it here. We're going to press the little button. And it's going, oh my gosh. It's making a noise right there. And it smells so good. And so there's my coffee. Okay. I'm just going to uh, wait until it froths. It's going to take a couple minutes. Oh my gosh. It smells so delightful. Okay, so the um, frother is done. You can see that it's condensation at the very top there. I'm going to remove it. And I saw a lot of people just scoop it out with a spoon. So I've got this little spoon, <laughs> scooping spoon. And I'm going to put it into my little coffee uh, there, my espresso. So, uh, oh my gosh. So fresh. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh my gosh. This is going to be, oh, so good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'm not a barista person, but, um, yeah. <laughs> I like a lot of froth. I don't know about you, but I like a lot of froth. Okay. And that's done. So exciting. Let's put that in there. And let's taste it. And now, it's going to be my first home-brewed Nespresso. Okay, I have to go somewhere a little bit more lighted. Sorry this is like a 30-minute show, but um, it's my first time ever using this machine. So, uh, yeah, I'm really excited about it. Spent spent a lot of money on it, but it's going to be worth it. I think, in my opinion, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm going to put you down as I treasure this moment. And I have my... Oh my gosh, that is so strong. Whoa, that is so strong. That is espresso to the max. But the froth makes it so good. I'm going to put some, a, a little bit of cream and sugar on it. But if you would like to have the Nespresso, the Longi um, Machine Virtuo, oh my gosh, well worth it. Go out and get yourself one. It's worth the money. Your house is going to smell like a barista, I promise you. You're going to love it. Yes. So happy.